Hello everyone, we're going to do a little bit of a walkthrough for the exercise on the, the second query exercise that we didn't, didn't get to do in class um, completely. So we're going to do it right here together. So follow along if you have trouble. Here's the exercise that I, uh, queries exercise number two, and these are the queries I need to build out of this file. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my data. So let me go, I'm going to start a new database. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, this one is uh, customer list database. Create. My first table th that I have here, I don't need that. I'm just going to close it. And in external data, I'm going to pull up an Excel. So browse, find the customer's Excel file and open that up. Uh, first row, and uh, let me switch so you can see better. Uh, the first row should uh, you should set it to contain the f the headings, so that's good. Uh, next, I'm not going to change any names. I'm just going to make sure that the dates are dates because I'm going to use those, right? So, for example, the date of birth, uh, making sure that it's a date with time. Okay, next choose the primary key have the primary key be the first field the CID customer ID next and name it uh, customer uh, table remember no spaces it's better if you don't leave spaces so finish say the steps now just give me my table there we go so that's the table so now I can get started with the queries so create query design and we're going to be using the designer for this queries um we can do it in sql but we're going to use the designer for now so add the table and we're going to work only with this table right here i'm going to pull it up so that i can see most of it all right so let's take a look at the first query the first query says customers uh, first name and last name of all customers whose last name begins with M. So I need the first name and the last name. Just double click on it and it will show up here. For customers whose last name begins with M, um, I have the query criteria right here. So it should read like, which is in access is an equivalent to equal to for text, right? Uh, if, if this was a number, we would use equal to, but like is for, for text strings. So like M and then asterisk. And what the asterisk does is it's a wildcard. So what I'm telling is begins with an M and has whatever after it, anything after M, right? So copy that. Uh, I'm going to copy that and put it in my criteria for last name right there. So when I run it, I get people whose last name is M. All right. In the same way, I'm just going to go back. Uh, and let's say that I wanted to change this criteria to the people whose last name ends with M. I would do asterisk M. So anything before and that finishes with an M. Let me, let me use that one and see what we get back. Okay. Run it. Uh, there are there are none, uh, but let me see if I have anybody whose first name ends with an M. Abraham. So there you go, one. All right, but let's get back to what we are doing, which is um, uh, what the exercise calls for, which is first name. Uh, the last name begins with M. So copy that and paste it here run it and there we go so that's our first that's our first query and I'm going to say M last name that's the name of my query okay next it's I need the uh, customers uh, first name begins with s so let's do that uh, create query design double click on the table uh, first name and last name and this time 
I want people whose first name begins with S. So it's just like S asterisk, right? Copy and paste it right here. There we go. Begins with S. That's good. I'm going to close it, save it, and S first name. I am uh, used to not leaving spaces in my names because I know that it makes it easier. Okay, next query. All the fields for customers from Utah. Okay, so that one is a little bit easier because uh, create, query design to the table. And uh, the asterisk is a wildcard, not only for text, but in this case, you can use it to sh display all the fields, all the fields. So I just double clicked on the asterisk right here, the wildcard. I want all the fields whose state is equal to, and because I, uh, at here I can just type UT and it'll look for UT in that field, all right? So I can put that here. And I don't need to repeat it because I'm already putting up all of the fields, so I can click on the show and uncheck show. So it's not gonna show that column, but it's only using it as the criteria. So let me run that, and there you go. All my clients from Utah. And at the end, you see there's no state field again because I hit it, right? That's what I did while unchecking that box, all right? So I'm going to save this one, close it, save it, and this is uh, uh, UT customers. UT customers, there we go. Uh, next uh, query, I need to, uh, all the fields from customers from Maryland. Maryland, um, the code for Maryland is MD. I know that. Uh, you can search it. You can look it up on the internet. The code for Maryland is MD. So I'm going to add. Again, I'm adding all the fields. And this is very, very similar. So I'm also adding the state but not showing the state, and just in quotes, MD, you see? Mm, I want to I wanna try to, there we go, oops, there we go, oh. MD, that's what I want to do, MD, all right? Okay, run. And now I got all the uh, people from MD, from Maryland. All right, so I'm going to close it, save it. I'm going to call this one MD customers. There we go. Next query. Uh, all the fields for customers who are 30 years old or younger. All right. So here I'm going to create. And I'm going to uh, import the table again, import all the fields, and then in my criteria, I'm actually going to build an expression. And I can, I'm going to do it like this, build the expression. And the expression, um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom, zoom, there we go. So here's the expression I'm going to build. I'm going to make this bigger. Here we go. So here's the expression. I'm going to say year of today, date, and I have to close both parentheses, actually. You know what? I'm going to make that a little bit smaller just because I want to be able to see everything. Okay, so there we go. So year of the date, of today's date, minus the year, year of the client's date of birth. Uh, and I can put that in square brackets to signify that it is a, 
a field. All right. And that's going to give me a calculation. This expression, if I run the query right now, you're going to see everybody because I haven't filtered it, but I can see now the result of my expression. Okay. Which is <coughs> two, uh, what is it? 2017 minus 1922. This person is 95 years old. So you see that? So that calculation that I just made <coughs> is right here. The year, this year minus the year of birth of the uh, client. Now I'm going to say that I want people younger than 30. So less than, less than 30 is my criteria. And I can either show it or not. I'm going to keep it shown just to see it. And I, I have filtered already. So all of this is under 30. You see? Okay. And now if I don't want to show my calculation, what I'm using to calculate, I can just uncheck it, run it. And there we go. I get all the people younger than 30, but I don't, I don't see that calculation necessarily. All right. Okay, so I'm going to save, close and save, and this is going to be under, under 30. Next uh, query, uh, older than 80. So this is the same, exact same uh, query, except the criteria changes, right? So I'm going to add everybody, add the table, add everybody. And in here, I'm going to do the expression. Let me do the expression right here. So I'm looking for the year. Again, I have to calculate the age. The year of today, the year of this year, date returns the year, uh, the actual date today, okay? Minus the year of the uh, customers. Oops. Let me close it. And the customer's date of birth. And this is the name. This is the name right here of the field uh, that holds the date of birth. Right. So that's it. That's the calculation I am making in my uh, query. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to say um, the criteria has to be older than or greater than 80. All right, I'm going to show both just so that when I run it and I see here, I see that all of these numbers are greater than 80. You see that? But I don't need to show that calculation. So I'm going to go back, hide or uncheck the show box so that when I run it, it just tells me who's older than 80 and I don't have to see the calculation field. All right, there we go. So this is going to be uh, over, oops, 80. There we go, over 80. Next, uh, next, uh, all the fields for customers who pay with Visa or MasterCard. All right, so create, query design, again, every customer, um, add every table. For credit card, credit card, either uh, in quotes Visa or in the separate line MasterCard. There we go. Uh, end quotes. That should give me. I don't need to show this. I will just run. And if I go to the credit card field, I see Visa MasterCard, Visa MasterCard. That's all I get. Only the people who have Visa or MasterCard. Take a look at that again. Visa MasterCard. All right. I know it's a little small. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to close this, save it as 
Visa MasterCard. Visa MC. Okay. Visa MasterCard. Next query that I have to do, uh, all the fields for customers who have birthdays in May. So I'm going to go here, create query, add my table again, close, uh, add all the fields and who have birthdays in May. So I'm going to use the date of birth and I'm going to say, um, actually, I don't need the date of birth. I just need the month, the month of the date of birth so it is an expression only the month of the date of birth okay and that is going to be equal to five because i'm looking for birthdays in may there we go may the month of the date of birth equal to five i can run it Monty, uh, sorry, typo, month, there we go, there we go, I can run it, if I go to the end, I see that my expression is calculating five, and of course, my uh, criteria is five, so there we go, I don't need to show this, right, I just need the, the fields, so run it, there we go, May, 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 may. Very good. Um, I'm going to close this, save it as May birthdays. May birthdays. There we go. Next, uh, I need to run the query for all the fields of customers who have been members for more than 20 years. So, again, a date uh, operation. Here we go. All the customers who have been members. Okay, so member date. That's what I want. And actually, it's an expression. So again, year of the member date. There we go. Okay, year of the member date, and for more than 20 years. Uh, actually, I'm going to um, I'm going to do the subtraction. So, year of date uh, minus year of the member is uh, let's see, I can remember right now, more than 20 years. So, greater than. greater than 20 okay so run it and uh, if I go to the end I see how many years they have been a member right everything is higher than 20 so that's fine and I can hide this if I want I want to copy this expression On zoom. Okay, I want to copy this expression just to show it to you uh, a little bit bigger right here. This is what I'm doing. Uh, let me erase. Okay, I'm getting the year of uh, this year minus the year of the customer member date. That's the calculation I'm doing, and I'm saying that. Uh, I'm saying that that should be greater than 20, right? There we go. Okay. I'm going to save that. Uh, save it. I'm going to call it old members. Next, the last one that we have to do is um, all the fields for women members who have birthdays in February. So this is a combination query. So again, import my table, choose everything. And then I need the person's sex and person's date of birth. Uh, and it's a calculation. It's an expression. So it is going to be month 
month of the date of birth month of the date of birth is equal to uh, February which is 2 right and uh, the sex is uh, like uh, F which is female I think that's the way it's in the customer table let me see it uh, ma MF male female okay there we go close so that should do it let me see uh, run it and I have females whose f uh, women whose um, birthday is in February and that's it um, save it as um, Feb uh, birth days women for example all right and that's it our exercise is complete okay I have all of my queries and they all work I've checked them all and that's uh, that's all really that we need to to work on now that was a little bit long hopefully you got through it and hope hopefully you learned something from it and uh, you followed along and uh, I'll see you in class